Hello, I'm Dr. Jahan Omar, and I'm the clinical coordinator of the CHANCE program here at Citrus Health Network, and we are an affiliate of the Florida Institute for Child Welfare. CHANCE stands for Citrus Helping Adolescents Negatively Impacted by Commercial Exploitation. Basically, our model is twofold. We were developed in 2013 due to the need to provide services for children in foster care who have been victims of human trafficking. So we developed the focal point of our model to be a one child per home model for these particular children. We then developed a specialized training and therapeutic approach to the model, whereas the parents receive, the foster parents receive 24 hours of intensive training on commercial sexual, sexual exploitation, anything from risk factors to the history of trauma involved, so on and so forth. Then the treatment team would also be receiving the same intense level of services. So we would have a clinician who meets with the child at least twice a week, we have a life coach who is, in fact, a survivor mentor. Then we would have peer mentors. We provide them with targeted case management. We provide them with uh, certified behavior analysis if necessary. So we really try to make an individualized approach to the child's needs. Um, because the number of children referred to our program has been so great, we then developed the community response team. And this is where we provide the same level of intensive clinical services, but to children who are in other foster homes or in other community placements, whether it be group homes or relative placements. Um, unfortunately, we don't have enough foster homes to meet all the needs of these children. One of the benefits of our program is that we have partnered with USF since 2013 to conduct a program evaluation of our model. Um, the program evaluation has found very significant results, so which we're pleased to say, and um, in terms of reduction of some of the behaviors associated with this population, like re reduction in running away, uh, reduction in returning to the life, so on and so forth. So from there, we are continuing to work towards becoming an evidence-based practice and we have been developing consultations with agencies across the country so that they can also replicate the CHANCE model. So we continue to hope to build more foster homes and uh, learn more about human trafficking. And I thank you for listening and giving me any feedback you have. If you'd like to ask questions about our program, feel free to email or call. Thank you very much.